This is Ronnie King at our WGH Teen Time microphone. We have with us Buddy Holly. Hi, Buddy. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Buddy, could you tell us some of the big records that you and your group have had? Well, we've had uh, That'll Be the Day was our first one, and Peggy Sue followed it, and along with Oh Boy and Maybe Baby, and then uh, Early in the Morning, and then our latest one, It's So Easy. You've sold quite a bit. Do you know the total number of all your records, how much they've sold so far? Uh, we don't have any idea, Ronnie, of what's sold. We figure somewhere around four or five million, somewhere along there. Four or five million. Tremendous volume of records. Uh, how many are in your group? There's three of us. Uh, two of the crickets and mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, how did you happen to get started? Well, we uh, met in high school, I guess you'd say, in Lubbock, Texas. That's our hometown, and we all went to the same high school there and started playing together there. Long star state. Uh -huh. uh, how old are you? I'm 22. And what about the crickets? Well, uh, Jerry Allison, the drummer, is 19, and Joe Malden, the bass player, is 18. 18. Mm -hmm. uh, and listening to you, buddy, it seems like y'all could do something in jazz. Have you ever tried anything along that line? <laughs> no, we hadn't. It's strange that you should say that, because uh, we've always made it a point to more or less not like jazz, actually, and it's kind of in uh, in conjunction with rock and roll in one way, and then it's kind of against it in a way. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's so true. I didn't mean to imply that your music you've played so far, I don't know, for some reason you sort of strike me as a jazz man <laughs> for some reason. Well, uh, it's probably the glasses or something. <laughs> Just look it at could it. be. Brubeck, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any special plans for the future? No, we don't. We didn't, uh, in the way of bookings, we don't know what's coming up for us after this tour. The last night of this tour is three nights from tonight in, uh, in Richmond, and then uh, we don't have anything in bookings there, and then our new release will be out in a few days. It's a choral release entitled Heartbeat, back with Well All Right. Heartbeat, that's mm -hmm. the number we'll have to watch for. Uh, finally, buddy, you know there's many mediums of that you can present yourself to the entertainment field, such as the stage and the records, nightclubs. Uh, which do you prefer the most? I prefer the one-nighter tours such as we're on, the uh, large rhythm and blues type package shows. You feel that you can get the most out of your audience. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can You can do your four or five songs and, and really, I mean, it feels good to play to an audience that's watching instead of an audience that's either uh, uh, interested in something else, like in nightclubs, you know, there's a lot going on that sometimes they're interested in something besides the act on stage and then uh, in your dances, well, they're more interested in their dancing, of course. Yes, you feel your audience a lot more. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Buddy Holly and the Crickets. Good thing, Ronnie.